Microfinance plays an important role in our economy and not many microfinance organizations maintain rules and regulations, said the Prime Minister's finance advisor, Dr. Mohammad Mashur Rahman. He also said that the microcredit regulatory structure should be developed. The borrowers do not know how to access credit institutions. They do not know how to do the calculation. So it is the microfinance institutions which lay down a simple formula for them at, at the period, at the intervals, a week or a month or whatever the period, you pay so much. And at the end of the year, the, the, the loan is adjusted. Professor Dr. Mohammad Yunus, on the other hand, said that the interest rate of microcredit should be lessened for ensuring its full benefit. Dr. Yunus said the next generation should be more financially well off than the previous one. Am I right to say it? Am I right? must know what the interest rate is. And one of the things I was trying to encourage Am I right? to come up with standardized interest rate. That's very important so that you know exactly what the interest rate is. Sometimes practitioners get upset about the standardized interest rate issue. I try to explain to them that it is the interest of everybody. Even if it is, it doesn't look nice, the figure doesn't look nice, still it's good to tell everybody this is what it is. Microfinance Regulatory Authority, MRA Chairman Dr. Atiur Rahman presented his recommendations for microcredit financing in the conference. This is time now for the microfinance sector to be linked with the macroeconomic or social business where beneficiaries will hold the ownership and thus microcredit can contribute to poverty elimination, which is indeed multidimensional. A monitoring system to monitor that the effective service charge does not exceed the rate of return from investing the credit by the borrower. Dr. Fazli Hassan Abed in his speech said that the high interest rate that the MFIs charged was that these organizations were heavily backed by development partners. How to supervise closely the institutions, of microfinance institutions in such a way that uh, microfinance institutions do have their own to uh, cover their risks. So these are some of the things that they need to look at and I hope that microfinance regulatory authorities function effectively in providing support to microfinance organizations so that the poor people ultimately are protected. Among the key issues discussed today were governance and ownership structure, resource mobilization, sustainability, interest rate of microcredit regulatory structure. Of the conference. Abdullah Alaihan.